Today, we will be seeing who is better, the Titan Fan Man or the Hyper Upgraded Titan Speaker Man. Well, now, uh, let's actually go through their stats. So, Titan Fan Man at max does 40,000 damage, has a range of 65, a 0 0.5 second cooldown, and does 80,000 DPS. And the big one is the push distance. The push distance, uh, he has a 1.5 push distance. So, very good unit. Now let's uh, go to the Hyper Upgraded Titan Speaker Man. At max, he does 20,000 damage, has 55 range, a 0 0.25 second cooldown, and also does 80,000 DPS. Uh, the only, there's, a, there's a few differences between the two. Titan Fan Man has more range. Uh, he does have a longer cooldown, though, but he has the push thing, which is, which is what makes him so OP. Now we are going to be uh, seeing which one of these guys is better, and uh, how we're going to do that is we are going to be uh, seeing which one of them can get farther in Endless on full auto-skip. They both do AoE, so they should be able to auto-skip for a little while. Uh, I think first we will try uh, Hyper Upgraded Titan Speaker Man, so uh, let's get into it. Now obviously we're going to need uh, the Santa TV Man for money, uh, the Hyper because he's going to be who we're testing, and uh, we're going to use the Mewing TV Man for stunning toilets. We're going to use the Astro UTC for slowing toilets. And we're going to use Clock Woman for the cooldown boost. So I have my loadout, so uh, once we get in, I'll be turning on Auto Skip and we'll see how far it gets. Now, because Hyper is uh, 2,000 Smackaroonies to place, uh, we're going to have to uh, place the Mewing TV Man first. Uh, so we're going to have to do a little bit of waiting before I can actually place him and start upgrading him. Because if my math is mathing, he costs 69000 to place in fully max out. He is quite the expensive unit. I think Titan Fan Man is a little less. Titan Fan Man is only 750 to place down. So he's definitely more efficient for the start. But uh, we'll have to see which is more efficient uh, in the long run. I have my Santa TV man up to level 5 and my Mewing TV man up to level 3. So I think it's time to place the first Hyper. I think I'm going to place it right here because we're, we're going to want to cram as many uh, as we can fit in here. Because uh, this is probably, in my opinion, this is probably the best place to be putting them. So uh, we're, again, we're not going to be turning off auto skip. Uh, we're going to have to try and max this guy out since we are auto skipping. Uh, but Mewing TV Man has a 360 AoE range, so uh, we have infinite AoE basically, but uh, I'm going to get to uh, upgrading this guy. Alright, I've gotten uh, this Hyper to level 4, and I also maxed out a Clock Woman so we can get that 22% cooldown boost. Now I would use DJ TV, but guess what? I don't have DJ TV, so Clock Woman uh, is my substitute. Now, uh, so far uh, we're cooking, the AoE is definitely helping. Uh, before I got it to level 4, we were definitely not cooking. Things were starting to get far, but uh, luckily we got that we, we got that level 4 upgrade, and now we're chilling. But I'm going to upgrade these guys again, and then I'll try and max out this guy. Although, maybe I'll just place a couple more, just to ensure that uh, we don't die. Alright, uh, I have 3 Hypers up to level 4, and I also uh, maxed out my Mewing TV Man, so now we have 45 range of... Uh, of a uh, of of a lot of AOE and uh, he can also stun. I also hope we can get this glitch toilet. Uh, I think I should probably max out one of these guys before I max out the Santa TV man. Maybe that's an L move, but I don't know. Uh, glitch toilet is uh, making his way through though, but uh, he got stunned. Uh, that's why I have viewing TV man so he can stun the toilets. It's very useful. But I'm gonna try and max out one of the hypers uh, so we don't die. Well, I did uh, max out one of the hypers, but uh, this laser scientist toilet might be getting by. It does have 120,000 health. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get him. I do not think this is enough range, but let's let's find out. Uh, we actually got him. That's pretty surprising. Uh, they are getting stunned a lot, though, so I probably should have brought like speaker repair drone instead of the astro. Uh, which I haven't even placed, by the way, and I probably should, but uh, like I have to max these guys out, otherwise uh, we won't be doing enough damage. Although this guy does do 57,000, but he's also really expensive, so uh, I'm not really sure what to do. Well, we are definitely dead now. A laser scientist toilet and two soldier rocket toilets are getting by. Did get to wave 53 on full auto skip. 
Uh, but again, I probably should use Speaker Repair Drone instead of Astro because uh, when you full auto skip, uh, you are always, 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 always getting stunned. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my bad. But uh, if I'm not using it for this, then I'm not going to use it for Titan Fan Man. But we did get to uh, wave 53, 49 waves beaten. Uh, that's not too bad for full auto skip and only two of them maxed out. Uh, but uh, let's go uh, try out Titan Fan Man. All right, we are now in the game. I just switched uh, the Hyper with the Titan Fan Man. And to make it fair, uh, I'm not using Speaker Repair Zone. I'm using the exact same things that I did with Hyper. And again, the only thing I changed was uh, Hyper to Titan Fan Man. And that's all I changed. Uh, just to make it fair. Uh, because I didn't use a Speaker Repair Zone or anything for Hyper. So I won't be using it for Titan Fan Man. Uh, and I am noticing uh, Titan Fan Man, definitely a lot cheaper to place uh, than the Hyper. A Titan Fan Man is uh, 750 and the Hyper is 2000. I think I'm gonna do the same thing and try and cram as many in here as possible. Looks like I can fit one right here. So I'm wondering if I can just save up enough to just place this guy and not even have to place like the Mewing TV Man. Titan Fan Man is now down. And again, his final stats uh, he will be doing 40,000 damage, will have 65 range. Uh, 0 0.5 second cooldown, and we'll be doing 80,000 DPS. So they will do the same DPS, but uh, is he better than Hyper? Uh, we'll be finding out. I have auto skip on, and uh, it looks like his uh, first upgrade is very cheap. It's only 1250. That is uh, very ridiculously cheap. Uh, he does do 2,000 DPS right now, and already has 40 range. However, unfortunately, I can't really see his range because... Uh, it's in the ground for some reason, but uh, oh well. He is now level 4, and uh, looks like he has some really cool uh, blue particles or whatever. Uh, currently, he does 10,500 damage, has 50 range, uh, same cooldown, and same push distance. So he's already doing uh, 21,000 DPS, if I'm mathing correctly. And his upgrades have been pretty cheap so far. I'm sure his last upgrade is going to be quite expensive, but uh, things are going well so far. I just maxed out the first Titan Fan Man, and so far everything's been going fine. Uh, the farthest anything it's gone is like right here, but other than that, it's been going fine. We do have a flying through a buzzsaw toilet, which is uh, kind of scary. However, he is getting uh, abs, oh, and he's dead just like that. Okay, I'm gonna max out my Santa TV man because his last upgrade is thirty thousand dollars, which uh, is uh, quite expensive. Well, I now have uh, three maxed out Titan Fan Man, and I'm working on a fourth. Uh, I also placed a Mewing TV Man. I haven't upgraded them, though. I also placed an Astro. Also haven't upgraded it. And I did max out the Clock Woman so we could get that sweet cooldown boost. Uh, I think I'm going to max out this guy, and then I'll max out these two. Definitely need this guy for the slowing. Uh, but so far, it's uh, been uh, going pretty well. Man, these slower bosses can barely move it's so funny this pushback is so overpowered these bosses are barely moving so they're just taking so much damage it's so awesome this guy might be a lot better than i thought uh yeah these bosses they're just barely moving i mean they are slowly coming but like these slower bosses like they they just aren't going anywhere it's so funny and by the way, currently we are on wave 60, still auto-skipping as you can see, it's only been about 20 minutes. So I've had auto-skip on the entire time, uh, however, uh, this is a lot of stuff, so uh, this might get a little scary. The only really annoying thing about this unit is uh, how far you have to place them from each other. It took uh, that far until I could place this guy. So the placements are pretty annoying, but this guy is still so overpowered. These guys are barely moving. Uh, we're on wave 67 by the way. Still cruising. Nothing has gotten past here because they the slower bosses just keep getting pushed back over and over again. It's so awesome and so overpowered. I hope they don't nerf this guy because uh, I, I like what I'm seeing. And another downside to this unit that I just noticed, uh, it cannot block any stuns. So if it gets stuns, if, like, if, it, if, it, if a toilet attacks once, it's getting stunned. Because uh, the giant turkey toilet used his little laser eye thing, and it stunned every single one of them. So I guess that's another downside to the Titan Fan Man, is it can't block any stuns. 
But uh, we are still absolutely cooking right now. We are on uh, wave 86, and things have started to get a little far. Uh, this also might not be good, because now there's like three giant turkey toilets that'll just be stunning them over and over again. And there's two glitch toilets, so that's also not good. But uh, this is uh, my army of uh, Titan Fanmen. It is uh, very, very bright and very uh, effective. I don't know. Uh, but we are on wave 87, and we're still kind of cooking. But the, again, those giant turkey toilets are uh, probably going to be a problem. We're on wave 95, and things are starting to get through because these guys keep on getting stunned. Uh, this is why uh, we need a speaker repair zone. But uh, we'll see if they can clutch up. Nope, looks like a glitch toilet is getting through, and we are dead. Not wave 97 on full auto skip. Wave 97. 84 waves beat. That is actually insane for full auto skip. Now, uh, I think it's pretty obvious who won that battle. Uh, I think Titan Fan Man is uh, definitely better than Hyper, but maybe there's some secret overpowered strategy with Hyper that I don't know about. But uh, I think uh, Titan Fan Man won that. If you want me to try this again, so I can like give Hyper another chance, like give me, give me, like if you want me to try again, then like give me your strategy for Hyper, and then maybe it can get to wave uh, wave ninety six full auto skip. But uh, I think uh, Titan Fanman wins this one. But uh, I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.